Audi, the well-known German car maker, is gearing up to enter Formula One, creating a buzz of excitement among racing fans. But one burning question remains unanswered. Who will lead the Audi F1 team as their team principal? Speculations were rife about Mattia Bonotto, a respected engineer and former head of Ferrari's F1 team. However, news has recently emerged that Bonotto has turned down an astounding $20 million offer from Audi. But why would Bonotto reject such a remarkable opportunity? Stay tuned to find out. Last year, Audi sent shockwaves through the motorsport world when they announced their decision to join the Formula One grid. The German powerhouse revealed their intent to participate in the pinnacle of motorsport from the 2026 season. Coinciding with the introduction of new engine regulations featuring increased electrical power and the use of 100% sustainable fuels. Wasting no time, Audi quickly forged a partnership with Sauber, a Swiss team currently racing as Alfa Romeo and utilising Ferrari power units. This collaboration will transform Sauber into Audi's official works outfit, heralding a new era for both organisations. With this strategic alliance, Audi aims to leverage Sauber's expertise to establish a formidable presence on the grid. With their entry still three years away, Audi has wasted no time laying the groundwork for their F1 endeavour. Oliver Hoffman, a member of Audi AG's Board of Management for Technical Development, emphasised their commitment to the project, stating that the foundation of our drivetrain for 2026 is right on the way. Not only is Audi focusing on technical aspects, but they also recognise the significance of acquiring top talent to drive their Formula One ambition. While Audi's headquarters in Neuburg, Germany, may pose challenges in terms of staff recruitment, the CEO of Audi Formula Racing, GmbH, Adam Baker, expressed confidence in the talent available in the region. Audi's substantial budget of approximately $200 million enables them to entice prominent figures from the F1 paddock. Rumours have swirled around Audi's pursuit of former Scuderia Ferrari team principal Mattia Bonotto. Reports suggest that Audi made a tempting offer of $20 million for Bonotto to join as the team principal. Following Ferrari's disappointing 2022 season, Mattia Bonotto chose to step down from the position of team principal as the Scuderia failed to capitalise on their early success, losing out to Red Bull and Max Verstappen in both world championships. Despite this setback, 2022 marked Ferrari's strongest season in years, largely due to Bonotto's innovative work on the F175 car, which played a pivotal role in returning the team to race-winning contention under the new regulations. Bonotto's resignation from Ferrari was met with disappointment, as the team's title challenge crumbled due to reliability issues, strategic errors, and driver mistakes rather than performance deficiencies. The F175, developed under Bonotto's leadership, secured the highest number of pole positions throughout the 2022 season. Upon his departure from Maranello last November, Bonotto was defensive of his time in charge. He insisted that he left with the team in a strong position to challenge for race wins and titles. He said, I am leaving a company that I love, which I have been part of for 28 years, with the serenity that comes from the conviction that I have made every effort to achieve the objective set. I leave a united and growing team, a strong team, ready, I'm sure, to achieve the highest goals, which I wish all the best for the future. I think it's right to take this step at this time, as hard as this decision has been for me." Cesare Fiorio, former sporting director of Ferrari, acknowledged Bonotto's exceptional engineering skills but suggested that the role of team principal proved too demanding for him. Remarking, Bonotto was a great engineer, but being a team principal is another job. Fiorio, who held the role of Ferrari's sporting director from 1989 to 1991, strongly believes that Audi should seize the opportunity to sign Bonotto, urging the German manufacturer not to let him slip away. With Audi's entry into Formula One on the horizon, Fiorio emphasised the immense value Bonotto could bring to the team, particularly in the field of engine development. Reports suggest that Audi's planned power unit for 2026 is based on the hybrid era engine previously crafted by sister company Porsche, which had come close to joining F1 with Red Bull. Audi's experience with hybrid technology in endurance racing places them in a favourable position to meet the performance standards of the era, which is set to begin in 2026. However, the addition of a renowned engine expert like Bonotto to their team would undoubtedly be a game-changer. 
Bonotto's impressive track record of transforming Ferrari's engine from weakness to strength cannot be overlooked. He successfully engineered a potent powertrain in 2015, overcoming initial hybrid-era challenges, and in 2022, he further improved Ferrari's engine performance by implementing innovative solutions such as a smaller turbo for enhanced cornering acceleration. If Audi intends to challenge powerhouses like Mercedes, Red Bull powertrains, and even Ferrari, Upon their entry in 2026, securing Bonotto's invaluable knowledge and expertise becomes imperative. His involvement has the potential to elevate Audi's engine development to new heights, solidifying their position among Formula One's elite contenders. According to reports, Bonotto was invited to visit the company's headquarters, meet the executives behind the project, and view their facilities. With an open mind, Bonotto travelled to Germany, eager to witness Audi's presentation, meet the executives behind the project, and tour their state-of-the-art facilities. However, despite the anticipation surrounding Bonotto's visit, it seems that Audi's efforts failed to impress the seasoned Italian engineer. Disappointed by what he encountered, Bonotto firmly declined Audi's offer. According to Business F1 magazine, Bonotto reportedly criticised the Audi projects in conversations with friends, referring to them as clowns. With Bonotto rejecting their approach, Audi shifted gears and instead appointed Andreas Seidel to assume the role of team principal. Seidel, who previously worked with McLaren, brought his wealth of experience to the table. While Bonotto turned down the opportunity, Gunther Steiner, the team principal of Haas, believes that Bonotto will soon make his return to the sport. Assessing Bonotto's current state, Steiner expressed confidence in the Italian engineer's resilience, stating, he's doing good, he's fine, I think he's in a good place. Steiner acknowledged the challenges Bonotto faced after spending 28 years at Ferrari, his first and only professional experience thus far. However, Steiner believes that Bonotto has moved on and is now focused on his future endeavours. While Steiner remained tight-lipped about Bonotto's specific plans, he emphasised that opportunities would undoubtedly arise for him. The fact that a person of great experience like Mattia Bonotto declined an offer from Audi raises some questions about the real conditions of the team and the direction it is heading. In any case, it is still too early to speculate on the performance and potential results of the German team, whether it will be as successful as its rival Mercedes or if it will fail, as other financially strong constructors have done in the past. The Audi project might not have impressed Bonotto, but that can't be said for James Key. Sauber Motorsport hired James Key to lead its Formula One technical team with an eye on Audi's arrival as its strategic partner from 2026. Key, renowned for his work with midfield teams, began his career in Jordan in 2005, consistently delivering aerodynamically efficient cars on a modest budget. His contributions during his tenure at Sauber from 2010 to 2012 resulted in podium finishes, showcasing his technical prowess. Key's talents were then recognised by Red Bull, who appointed him as technical director at Toro Rosso, now Alpha Tauri. In 2019, Key joined McLaren, where he played a pivotal role in the team's progress, elevating them to the forefront of the midfield and even securing a remarkable 1-2 finish at the 2021 Italian Grand Prix. However, McLaren faced challenges under the revised technical regulations implemented in 2022. And in March, Key's departure was announced as part of a wider restructuring of the team's technical leadership. Key's arrival at Sauber Motorsport as the Formula One technical director marks a significant development in the team's preparations for its partnership with Audi. Andreas Seidel, who assumed the role of CEO at Sauber in 2023, oversaw Key's recruitment with the aim of building a strong foundation within the organisation to align with Audi's ambitious aspirations. Replacing Jan Mochot, who served as Sauber's technical director since mid-2019, Key will be responsible for establishing the necessary facilities, personnel and technical structure required for a competitive midfield team. This preparation is crucial to ensure a seamless integration with Audi, a major manufacturer with aspirations of competing at the front of the grid. Key's appointment comes at a critical juncture for Sauber Alfa Romeo, as the team's promising start to the 2022 season has waned, resulting in a disappointing 8th place standing in the current championship. What's your thought about Bonotto rejecting Audi? Let us know in the comments section below. That will be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can always get to watch more amazing videos like this. See you in the next video.